Have you ever been tuning across the short wave band and picked up on certain frequencies a sound like this? I've been picking that up for literally decades and it's only recently that I got some idea as to what it was. We're going to explore that today. Hello, my name's Peter and you're watching Long in the Tooth Television. Originally, I thought we were picking up some kind of ionospheric interference or generated noise from somewhere. And then I thought, I know what it is. Somebody's transmitting a... Or maybe a... Oh no, it's probably a... All wrong. What these are, these are specific transmissions from NATO. These are NATO transmissions, coded communications from NATO. And they're called STANAG4285. Now, these transmissions, this is obviously coded. It's all in some code, uh, which can be deciphered at the various NATO bases. A lot of the transmitters are on 24 hours a day, um, but they're not always carrying information. You get a certain kind of roar uh, when they're not carrying information versus a different kind of roar when they are carrying information. Are you following this, Mia? No, oh, she's not as interested as we are. A company called Thales are responsible for the development of this form of communication and provide it to NATO. There is a little website, which is a wiki website, which is quite technical, and you can find out a bit more information on there, and I'll put that in the description. The important thing to remember is that next time you pick up a... You know, it's not a... But it's actually a STANAG4285, and it is NATO communication. Hope that answered the question. Thanks for viewing, and thanks for subscribing if you're a recent subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and join in the fun. There's more where this came from, and we'll catch you next time. Hey.